Yes. 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 Hello, hello, this is Portal Games. Hello, hello. And this is uh, Mary Czewiczek and this is Janna Kijanka. And this is... And this is false start. So. How are you doing? Second day of the Portal Con. We are live from Portal Games headquarters. Uh, uh, we call this even break breakfast at Portal Games um, headquarters, although it is uh, 4 p.m. in Poland, so it's a breakfast for uh, North America. Uh, for us, it's uh, afternoon, so... Okay. There are some cookies, there are some cakes, uh, there are different things here on the table. Mm, and uh, we are starting the second day of the convention. The plan is to uh, talk with you on the chat, uh, to, to see what's happening uh, mm, at your homes, uh, to discuss uh, the things that happened yesterday, to remind everybody uh, what we announced uh, yesterday, mm, and uh, also we have uh, pre-constructed uh, a few mm, short clips from our headquarters to show you in our offices. See? See, Polenta. What's <laughs> happening at chat? Uh, no idea because the stream <coughs> doesn't work for me good today. Morning, so. Good morning, good morning. Hello. Good morning, good morning. Uh, the, the first rule of every single good live stream are uh, two rules. First of all, we ask you oh, to nice give us likes, give us shares, give us subscriptions, like be with us, show your support to our channel. So. This is the first rule. If you are on YouTube, uh, give us a like. If you are for the first time uh, on our platform, please consider uh, liking us. Please consider subscribing. And the second uh, rule, give us the uh, name of the city you are from, so we know that this is a live stream for the whole world. Yesterday we had people from Chile, from Brazil, from Australia, of course many fans from America, many fans from Poland, obviously. Uh, fans from Germany. So let us know who's watching today, uh, what cities are represented. Um, see? And if we have uh, Manchester, if we have uh, Bayern München, if we have somebody from Dortmund, and maybe this somebody from Dortmund has a season ticket for the. Belgium, Deerfield Beach, okay. Philadelphia, and I can, technically I can turn this off, Netherlands, Wrocław, Austin, Paul Chapman, hello Paul, how are you? Um, yesterday we announced a couple of new products, and uh, that is a new app from Portal Games Digital, Convoy, this is my old game, uh, did you play Convoy? I've been working on the new edition, actually. Oh, I didn't remember that, <laughs> uh, that's cool. Uh, so Convoy, one of the not super appreciated games that I absolutely uh, love, I'm proud of it, uh, and now it will be on your uh, mobile device, uh, our Portal Games Digital basically finished the work on this app because they were working for many months on this in a secret, and uh, we are releasing this app on September 5th uh, this year, so very very soon, so Convoy app, we announced it yesterday, we started pre-orders for Barbarian Hordes, the new expansion for Empires of the North designed by this amazing girl, Gianna Kijanka, uh, two new decks, uh, one deck uh, very mean with the ambush, uh, sabotage, was that the name of the tokens? Yeah, it's ambush and ambush. they kind of steal when other kind players of, using their cards. Kind of steal, and the other one has uh, rafts and yeah. they play with the fields? Yeah, they can uh, use their ships and uh, rafts to harvest because they're not like having their own fields, so they need to they sell on. to them. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Barbarian Horse on pre-order right now, Oops, the street day, the August 20th. So very, very soon, in a one month, uh, on your favorite local game store. Yesterday we started pre-orders for Detective Season 1, three new cases, amazing content, uh, simple rules, uh, engaging content, and en engaging cases. I love what we achieved here with this. Uh, a uh, box uh, super cheap, uh, a great price for a uh, free game night. It's like a free tickets to the cinema. Invite your friends, invite your family, and instead of going to the theater because of the COVID, uh, go to your living room and play Detective Season 1, three game nights in a one box. And for you, for all of our fans, on pre order, we have a book in a hardcover. This is insane hardcover book, 80 pages with the stories, with the uh, reports. Uh, how I was designing this, uh, this game. So lots of fun anecdotes about designing, about the play testing these cases, about creating plots and clues, etc. And I have with me even like a, 
this version uh, before it went to the print so as you can see a ton of writing ton of content for you for free and because you are our heart of fun so this is what we have for you this is what i brought also uh, Synosp is a brief for the vienna connection vienna connection will be released uh, early next year it was planned early for s and uh, this year but because of the covid because of the problems the play testing because of all the problems and delays in general we moved this uh, release for the early in 2021 but it's in the works it's in the play testing vienna connection you are going to be spy and it's freaking awesome we are playing the cold war era the whole campaign starts in vienna and then move to different uh, cities in uh, in Europe and you are going to be spy, CIA spy in Europe in a communism time, Cold War, amazing stuff. Here I have a note about uh, this stream and what's going on, I don't need them, I know it by heart. Here we have uh, postcards, uh, I showed them yesterday, postcards for Rise of the Empire. Yesterday uh, our team, our Twitch team played Rise of the Empire, Paul and David. Mm, uh, amazing video I strongly recommend to watch because they were playing Imperial Settlers uh, Romans versus Barbarians after more than one hour when they finally finished Paul who played Barbarians cheated his very own brother David and he forced him to crumble the empire and to lose the game and finish everything because he was hiding the invention card from him so that was a uh, uh, if you want to see in a real life how two brothers are fighting and one <laughs> of them is cheating the other one, this is what we have on our YouTube channel. This content for you. Learn how to be mean for your family members. And uh, if you want to pre order Rise of the Empire, this is uh, what we have for you. Amazing uh, postcards with the artwork from the, from the product that you can use on the wall, in frames, on your games room, in your games room. This is it. <sighs> Uh, I guess there are some questions on the chat. If I will shut up and give a voice to these amazing uh, girls, I will, but not now, not yet. Nah. Do you know what is this? Mm, I have no idea. So this is the product that we invented, me and Michael Orage, before John Nakijanka was all, almost born. Like It is uh, almost as old as, as Janna. Uh, before... Portal games start making any money, and when we were very poor and very stupid, we decided that we are going to release a screen for Dungeons and Dragons. But we did the math, and we were thinking there's one game master and four players on average when they play Dungeons and Dragons. So instead of producing one product that is a game master screen, we decided to produce a player screen because we'll sell four times more than a game master screen. And that was a brilliant idea. We produced this. Uh, nobody understands this idea. And we sold no single copy. Uh, it was a uh, loss of money. And we thought it's fun, but it In the meantime, uh, David says, I was robbed, but Rome will rise again. Rome will rise right. again. Rome is my almost the favorite faction uh, right now. I, I prefer. Um, so, Revenge is coming. Deck building. Also... Amazons. Yeah. Amazons. Amazons. Uh, Amazon, well, they are amazing. They are amazing. So Amazon amazing is my favorite, uh, but Rome is my second favorite. Uh, I play Rome. Uh, I play A Rise of the Empire with my wife Mary. This is my uh, uh, box, and uh, I play. Oh, Japan. maybe maybe we're cheating because I lost. I, I was so. not. Uh, I play Jap Japanese faction. She plays barbarians. I crush her. Uh, what's the problem, uh, Mister Tech, Tech? You're killing the mic. I'm sorry. Uh, what's next? Yesterday we announced the second uh, second box in a signature series, a uh, second case for detective. So if you missed that, here is the here is the news. Uh, what I have not shown yet: uh, different covers. Uh, Marek, can you show them into the to the camera? If you hold it, they will they will see it. Yes. So this is uh, we showed in the tri trailer one of the covers, proposition of the box. But here we have uh, different ones. I hope that something you you, you can see here. Uh, so there is no decision how the cover will look like in the final version. This is uh, uh, two of these, and these are like these. We see that, yes. And this is like that. So the action takes place in a circus. Uh, we have a circus visiting the town. We have a dead body. We have a tiger who probably killed the person. But uh, you will discover what happened because I'm always a detective. Something strange happened. Uh, how is your day? Oh, how is my day? It's very busy at the moment. So. You want to discuss something or? We have, no, 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 we do not we stay with him 
Steven no is, longer. Steven is with Alza. Yesterday, I know. Steve yes. is my second husband for now, I think. I'm sorry, Paula. Uh, look at Finoski Portal Games uh, USA had the interviews yesterday with the industry legends uh, Steven Bonator and Scott Morris uh, were with us. Uh, yes, Steven. Uh, what can I say? Thank you, Steven, <laughs> for, for being with us. Uh, for a moment. What's up on chat? What's up on chat? Uh, how do you come up with these games? Uh, well, I don't know. Egyptian, I'm Ben. How is Mary? I, I'm okay. Egyptian <laughs> is my favorite, but Amazon's is second. The Aztec's third. How is Mary? Mary is awesome. Is this mega meeple and the mega wood in the background in the case we produce stone meeples? So, so this is the gift for, uh, for, for me from Chevy. Chevy was uh, yesterday doing amazing, amazing event, all Portal Games discussed. So it was two hours uh, stream, you can watch it on YouTube. And, and he and the rest of the gang uh, were discussing uh, previous races of, of Portal Games. And uh, he did it um, many years ago for me as a gift. So uh, these uh, wooden, wooden pieces for, uh, for NPC setters. Here we have from Beth, uh, uh, Settler. And Come here back. we have. I didn't yes. know it. And here is uh, my cookie, cookie monster, who who is, uh, is always hungry, so I can feed him uh, in front of the camera. And this cookie monster is from the second-hand shop in our village, <laughs> two years ago, as I know. And Chevy, I see Chevy on the chat. I will make more if somebody wants to order yes. them. Uh, these are amazing, uh, amazing, amazing, amazing meeples. Uh, so I strongly recommend. It's amazing decoration uh, for your game room. Mm, uh, uh, to the point, uh, can we have the first video? So we recorded a few clips from our office uh, to show you how, uh, how our office looks. Uh, these videos, uh, they are kind of boring because of the COVID situation. Most of the offices is uh, empty because we are working in the home office uh, mode. But let me show you the first clip. We will visit the Portal Games offices. Uh, let's start. Hello PortalCon, so here it is, uh, as promised, a tour around Portal Games offices. This is our building. Can I have a nice look at the building? <coughs> we moved here uh, in 2011, oh, 2017, uh, or, or it was 2016. Maybe it was 2016, the end of the year. And then 2017, the release of the first mansions from these offices. Yes, it was end of 2016. Mm, and as you will see, uh, year, years passed and we still need to do a lot of renovation. But there's no time for renovation when we design games. So let's go inside. Uh, we don't want to go in this direction, so no, this is not interesting. Mm, uh, and uh, we are now on the floor zero. Uh, and let's start here. Let's start here. Uh, we showed this room uh, previously in the in Portal Games vlog. Let me just turn the lights on in Portal Games uh, vlog and this is a replacement parts uh, room. So yeah, this is a tour. So let's go. Let's go. Mm, uh, this it's, so dark here. it's dark, but we have lights. Mm, if anybody loses any pound, uh, has a cards uh, spilled with the water, has any issue with the game components, we have these replacement parts, uh, mini mini warehouse uh, and we ship to you. Uh, thing. So if you have in trouble, we have it covered. We will help you. Mm, uh, I have no clue how my employees uh, find here anything because it looks like a huge mess. Uh, but hopefully they know what they are doing. So this is it. Uh, I never use this room unless I need something to for prototypes because sometimes I came here, grab some miniatures, grab some tokens, grab some dice mm, and do prototypes. But they... Oh my god. But they are looking here for a replacement parts. Here in the second room, uh, more replacement parts. And it is also our warehouse with uh, all these promo items that you buy from our warehouse. So um, if you want to buy uh, additional cards for Mysterium, if you want to buy additional cards for Robinson Crusoe, if you want anything. Yeah, so this is the uh, promos for our games. Uh, I didn't re realize that uh, we designed so many promos. But well, apparently we did. And so the whole room, the whole warehouse with uh, promo items um, and uh, additional villages for row and right, etc. etc. Um, now let's take a shortcut. Let's come here. So uh, we should put the lights on before recording. So 
before we moved to this uh, building, the other company was here, obviously, and uh, they had the entrance from the street. So this is a, a part that you can enter the company from the street. They have here a reception, they had here a reception, but we are a very shy company. So we don't want anybody to enter us from the street. So we have our entrance from the parking lot. And here in this official entrance, we just built the games room. We have here all the games that we ship uh, for the game conventions, for the gaming clubs, the gaming events, so we take these open boxes, ship them, and then they, they give it back. Uh, and besides that, a lot of mess here, as you can see, so uh, part of the warehouse, I guess. Mm, and here, the first real room. It says Jiao Produkci, which means the production department. Mm, and here we have two desks, two employees, uh, Damian and Greg. Damian does all the logistics, so he's responsible for bringing the product from the manufacturer. So if we print anything in China, if we print anything in Poland, if we need to ship this product to Europe, if we need to ship this product to UK, to America, Damian is dealing with all the ships. Uh, while uh, Greg is responsible for uh, production, so he deals with manufacturers, sending files to them and of course negotiating prices, checking samples. He has always on his desks all types of different components, all types of different samples from the manufacturer, what they can do, what they offer us, what they have uh, new in terms of uh, new components, ideas and productions. And if you visit uh, his desks, you will always find something uh, super strange because he always gets some presents uh, from manufacturers. Besides that, he is famous in the company because he still uses uh, uh, very old audio, uh, audio stuff. So yes, he still has a CD player, he still has cassette player. This is insane, he's a traditional person. And more of very crazy items. Uh, I don't know if some of them are top secret, so let's, let's not show them, let's move on. So this is, uh, and this is, uh, do you see that? Game designer journal just uh, came today into the office mm, yesterday. Uh, on Saturday we started pre-orders for Detective Season 1 and each of you who will pre-order this, uh, this uh, standalone game for Detective will get this uh, amazing, amazing book. Uh, 80 pages of stories about designing Detective. I strongly recommend to check it out. And now we are moving into, into our warehouse uh, part of the, of the company. Hello, 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 Simon, Paco, Peter, and this is our warehouse, uh, local warehouse. So we have a huge warehouse like with uh, hundreds of, of pallets of, of items uh, in Łódź, it is a city in the center of Poland, and these are our logistic centers. But here uh, at the company we have uh, all the items that we have uh, for web store, uh, for uh, contests uh, for reviewers from sending samples like uh, each of the product in couple of copies only mm, just for our in-house uh, use so what you can see here on the on the shelves on one hand you see all the uh, portal games products that you know i, I see stronghold i see monolith arena 51st state Naroshima hex expansion imperator's expansions so all the games you know here we have a detective and imperial settlers and uh, and parts of the north uh, but if we move uh, fo further in in the shelves we see the products that portal games does in poland under the license because we are a publisher for in poland and we are quite a big publisher here in poland so uh, let me just show you what we have which licenses for example we have we have the uh, rights for elms and uh, line amazing uh, amazing deck builder my absolutely favorite one this game is extremely popular in poland so we did uh, no, almost all expansions already. Uh, Underwater Cities, amazing, amazing heavy uh, Euro game. Here we see Raycold from Uwe Rosenberg, we see Root from Leather Games, we see Teotihuacan from Balls and uh, Cards, we see Architects of the Western Kingdom, we see The Godfather, Narcos, Gizmos, so all the amazing uh, cool mini games that we do in Poland with the Polish edition, and of course the whole shelf of Zombicide. Zombie side science fiction, zombie side uh, uh, black plague, etc., etc. And here are some smaller games that I love and I strongly, strongly recommend for you to check it out in English or French or or uh, Italian, depending where you live. The Crypto, absolutely the best party game on the planet. 
Uh, we are very proud to be Polish publisher of the game. And by the way, we have a different cover than all other editions. So this is a Polish cover. It is designed especially for Polish market. The original one looks a little bit different. Amazing game, uh, Diamonds, uh, from uh, known of previously as Incan Gold, from Bruno Fajduti. I love this game a lot. Fuse from Renegade Games. Little Town, um, amazing game from uh, Yellow. We do it in Poland. And Istanbul and Downforce from uh, a Restoration Games. So yeah, we do for Polish market. We release around 18, 18 uh, new games uh, every year. Um, so this is uh, this is our schedule for Polish market, and we have all these big hits uh, in our local edition. So this was a warehouse. Uh, I love to come here because I always find something interesting, uh, some product that I definitely need to have at home. So I like to visit guys here. And we are back, so that was a tour around the first floor of floor zero. I don't know how you have it in America. I know that America and Britain describe this differently. Floor zero, uh, that was our offices. So let us know if, if you are surprised, if you imagine uh, yourself uh, that our office look differently. In a moment, we will go to floor number one, to the upper uh, floor, uh, first floor or ground floor. Even two Americans cannot agree on one wording. First floor or ground floor, like, hey. And, and you now, forgot about the basement. The yeah, basement is very we, funny. And how I can learn this English if even you don't have a one word for one thing? Come on. <clears throat> anyway. It's a pierwsze piętro. As simple as that. Ground floor. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, parter. Ground floor, it's parter. Very difficult. Let's move on. We have not much time left. Uh, Janna, show to the camera what your insane brain is doing right now. So we were... You were show you, you you were watching a, a tour around the offices, and Jonna used these two minutes to. Well, I was actually trying to get a new faction into a playable prototype. So, so uh, as I told you yesterday, uh, Egyptians is the next expansion, and Jonna, after being defeated uh, by Eric Ling uh, yesterday, she couldn't sleep and she was in the bed for the late hours. And her brain started uh, coming up with new ideas. And from I have the... some ideas on the chat basement plus one, second floor minus one. So from <laughs> the very beginning, she entered the, the office today and she started uh, designing new cards. So and maybe at the end of the day, instead of going home, we'll just uh, play some Egyptian cards. This is how it is cool to work with, uh, uh, with some talent in, in the office. And always working. This is exactly the case. The level number one. Second floor, minus one. Yes, confuse me more. This is a very, very good idea. Uh, uh, for all of you who watch uh, our YouTube channel for the first time, for all of you who decided to visit us and see us for the first time, please consider subscribing. Uh, from yesterday till today morning, we, we get... <laughs> End of the day, Egyptian pre-orders available. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. Uh, since yesterday we had 100 new subscribers on the channel, so I appreciate, I welcome all the new uh, Portal Games fans and if you are a Portal Game fan, if you haven't subscribed yet for the channel, give us subscribe because we, uh, Marek and me and the rest of the team, we are uh, posting here videos every single week, every single week with something uh, interesting for you, uh, designer vlogs, uh, some teasers, uh, some uh, Q&A, so give us subscribe. If you are already a subscriber, of course, what you can do today, you can give us a like. How many likes we have already? 37, not 37. much. 37. How many people are watching? I think 100 now. On One, YouTube. The 100 but... people watching on YouTube and we have a 37 uh, thumbs up. That means that so, I'm missing up. 63 thumbs up. It works. And, thumbs up. And now I <laughs> shut up and I will not okay. start talking until we have some more thumbs up. Oh, please, thumbs up. Okay. I can talk. Uh, a bit. You have to? We need to read at least 50. Okay, okay. 51. We, okay, so I'm back. Uh, thank you for, for support. Thank you for being with us. Uh, honest, this is of course a silly, silly, silly band. On a serious note, the more thumbs up. Oh, uh, one thumbs down. Oh, why would you? Can we nail this person? Can no, 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 zero. Now it's okay. Thumbs down. Oh. Time for girls to talk. I know. Good point. No uh, chance for us. Girls, no. Girl. The floor is yours. The floor is ours. Okay, okay. I think we can uh, have a change of uh, you know topic for now, not focusing on the ground floors and first floors. But uh, we can 
organize, I think uh, we can go to the basement and show some how we how we name in the Bedwood or evil, something like evil this. Evil wood. Evil wood from Robinson. You remember the story about evil wood we have in the basement? The well, story. I'm not quite sure because I've heard stories about some of the bad woods because I think there is more than one. So you no, can no, no, there are a lot of boxes, yes, but all the same because how how many years ago it was about this? 2000, uh, 2012. 2012, so eight years ago and we were producing what? I don't remember. It was for Robinson Crusoe. She's stuff, trying to tell a stuff. story, but I am the guy who brought in tell stories. She she tries, but but I don't remember the story. Yeah, exactly. You was... cannot tell a story I, if you don't remember it. I remember that there was this. Uh... No, no, no. Wooden pieces. Yes, we wanted Chinese factory to make Robinson Crusoe, of course, but it was um, high. I okay. I didn't know it. So okay. Uh, thumbs up for everybody who is confused right now. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to introduce you to. Bad wood. Okay. Uh, in uh, in uh, half an hour, I challenge Joanna Kijanka. She's already defeated by Eric, and now she'll be defeated by me. Uh, we are playing <laughs> paper, scissors, rock for the one hour. Uh, we have like 15 rounds uh, prepared for that, and I will destroy her. Then, uh, one hour later, I will talk about the world of Naroshima, and uh, so I'll be discussing uh, the lore. Of the world, so you can learn uh, who's smart, why why Borgo is Borgo, who's hegemon, etc. So I will describe the world of Naroshima, and then Portal Games US takes a, uh, takes an action. They will teach you how to play Robinson Crusoe, which is uh, super awesome. Uh, Luke will discuss the detective line, all the expansions, and, and interesting stories about them. Then we do charity roast auction. You are going to beat games. I shipped from Poland to America the most insane, crazy, silly games that I had in my collection for you to bid, for you to auction and uh, Chevy is running this auction so prepare for silliness and fun fun time and prepare your wallets because we are bidding and you are gathering money for charity so this is a good thing to do then we have Barbarian Horse gameplay so as I mentioned but I throw it already Barbarian Horse are on pre-order and you can see them in action later and then we have a special guest uh, rolling dice and taking names, Tony and Marty doing a Portal Games quiz for you. We have 36 questions for you to uh, to answer and we have uh, prizes, we have uh, amazing host uh, rolling dice, and so it's gonna be fun. Then we play Monolith Arena, then there is a Portal Games stand-up, this is me being silly and me roasting myself and my company, so uh, definitely don't miss it out, and then we uh, close the convention Q&A with uh, Portal Games uh, USA. So most of the convention today is run by uh, Portal Games Twitch channel. Uh, Eric, Paul, David, Ben, Don, Chevy, Luke and the rest of the gang. Uh, they do streams almost every day. Our Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash Portal Games US. Do we have a promo for that at, 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 like, at the very moment? Somewhere. Somewhere at the oh, we need Stephen Bonacore to roast Ignacy. So uh, I we have you, where is successful, Stephen? Where is Stephen? Give successful me Successful geek, I promise you, and you can follow follow up in the email or in the comment uh, under the video later. And uh, nobody roast myself better than myself. Uh, uh, this 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 uh, this uh, stand up is basically showing the world that I was a moron, and it's uh, it's hopefully quite funny for you to discover all these uh, stories. Uh, Marek shows me that he's ready, so promo for our Twitch channel. Well, we made it. How about it? It's your captain. How's things? Can you hear me okay? Looks all right on my end. Woohoo! All right. Some Niroshima Hex. I could separate him up in case he drops a bomb, because he's got a bomb. Um, hey, gummit. Don't freak out. Resume. <laughs> Why did he get two? Oh, he got two. I forgot. Oh, no. This guy gets two because he's attached to this. Oh, no. <sighs> yep. Man, I have totally messed this up. Welcome to Nirishima Hex. So, I just want to lock down his base. All right, here we go. Oh, he's got a bomb. 
That darn mullet. This guy is going to get two attacks. No, he isn't, because this... And we are back, so this was our Twitch uh, reel. So if you're not using Twitch, this is time to start using Twitch because we have an amazing team that pulls amazing content every single day. That was Eric Captain Link, who plays Neuroshima Hex every Monday, every Tuesday, uh, teaching you how to play Neuroshima Hex. We have other contributors, uh, so it's amazing stuff. Uh, I see a couple of people from uh, Twitch right now, Successful Geek and Super Board Sunday. So welcome on our Twitch channel, let your friends and know about our channel and for all of you on youtube on facebook on twitter consider uh, giving us a follow on twitch because there is, this is a channel run by portal games fans and friends for our fans and friends this is community based uh, twitch channel so you can see a lot of content amazing amazing stuff uh, one of the uh, pieces that there will be streamed in upcoming months uh, our volunteers our friends will play uh, scenarios for Robinson Crusoe. We ran a contest for Robinson Crusoe. Uh, Jana was the, the judge. This is the word. Can, can we have uh, support from Luton? Hello, Ignace. Le Le Legends DG DM. Uh, Portal Games USA. Judge is the word I'm looking for. She was probably the judge and she read all the entries, so she will give you like a super short uh, um, summary of the contest. Okay, so there was about 40 uh submissions uh, and the thing is that there is a lot of different uh, you know persons that, that were contacting me for example there was a uh, couples that created uh, scenarios there was young designers which their parents uh, introduced uh, the story about how, how their children actually made their own which By was so young designers she means like 14 years old or 12 years old like uh, super teenagers, yeah. teenagers. Yep. Okay. There were even persons that were uh, basing the scenario out of their pets, which was also amazing. And I think the um, amount of positive, uh, you, you know, positive energy that came from those mails, from those uh, scenarios were amazing. And we actually already set the 10 uh, final scenarios, which I will now try to um, balance out. And uh, we will next week uh, announce uh, who actually made it to the finals. Yep. And uh, uh, our Twitch team already is, is saying, can we play it on a Twitch? Yes. So we will provide you these this, this scenarios, the ones that they didn't make it. So I think it's a very interesting uh, concept to present uh, the submissions, uh, what was interesting, why they didn't make it to the, to the final, but still very interesting. Because most of the scenarios were interesting. Like this is, even they didn't make it to the final, they were very interesting. So yes, we want, for example, to use the Twitch the way, that way that you can see this entry. So yes, our Twitch team will show it. So once again, Twitch that TV slash Portal Games US and Marek is showing me that we need to move on. So the another clip for our offices. Now we go to the floor number one or whatever, like the upper one. Let's go. And now we are on the first floor. So this is. This is the floor that we call money because this is uh, where we do money mm, uh, archives. Yeah, still closed. Archivum archives are lots of documents, but it is under the key because it's important, important thing. Here they have a small kitchen, like very very small. Nothing interesting except maybe this uh, amazing uh, aquarium. Mm, uh, Fishes. Real one. If you are hungry, you can fish and, and uh, do some lunch break. Uh, our accounting with our two accounting girls. So the most important room in the, in the office uh, mm -hmm. where money flows. And, and the next two rooms on my left and on my right is a customer service. So here works uh, my wife Mary and she does the customer service in English. So if you contact Portal Games, if you send email to Portal Games, you probably most likely talk with Mary. This is her little little office today. She's doing home, home office. So she's not here, but you can see amazing posters, Bruce Lee. No comments. I don't know why, but this is, this is Mary. And here we have the room from Ivona. Ivona does a, a customer service for Polish customers. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Uh, 
raising some. Do I correctly? Yes. yes. Some customer has some problems, some cars, whatever. We will help. No worries. We will help. Ivana always has some sweets for, for us. So it's always nice to visit her. Uh, and yes. Uh, and besides doing a Polish customer service, Ivana also do, does uh, all the preparations for conventions. So if you go for a convention, she will organize that. The hotels, travels, tickets, etc. etc. Here we have our um, uh, European cells on home office. Uh, so nobody is here today. And here we have a sales pack again. So this is the team that, that does all the sales for Polish market. We have here a uh, team selling our new releases uh, this past month. Uh, in June, we released Polish edition of New Frontiers. Polish edition of Little Town, Polish edition of Low Memory, and fourth one, and Dimahar was month month earlier. Uh, so yes, they are quite busy every single uh, month. And now the fun part. This is a this is a border. Now is a fun part. Uh, the fun part starts with Jajar Binks. And this is our after hours room. So this is the time. Every Monday we stay after hours, not all of us, some, some of the employees stay with me and we play board games. And this is part of the collection, these are the games that we love, we appreciate from our friendly competitors, from other publishers, uh, the games that we absolutely adore, uh, Railways of the World and Age of Steam is uh, in the other room, Hellboy here, and here we have a Samurai El Grande, and uh, here we have a Kemet, I absolutely adore Kemet. And here we have a Shogun, uh, so used on the map games. And here we have some classic Elazund and Salamanca and Alhambra, so classic German games, German games. Here we have some new games, Tiny Towns from AIG. We have El Dorado from uh, Ravensburger, I guess. Mm, and uh, Mr. Wolsch, uh, guest uh, um, star of the industry these days. So this is what we are playing after hours. Here we have uh, another a shelf of the games that we need to remind ourselves the rules to play them. So this is the game that we will play at some point uh, at after hours, but we either don't know the rules yet, either we played this game a couple of years ago and we don't remember rules. So this is what we will play in upcoming weeks and, and months. Mm, uh, so yeah, this is the room I like the most. Uh, I even have here decoration. This is uh, These are pictures I received as a gift for my birthday. Now, last year, these are the pictures from uh, uh, this artwork from uh, uh, Julius Verne novels. Uh, I'm a huge fan, so it was absolutely an amazing, amazing gift, and they are here in my favorite room in the whole in the whole office. And uh, the last room, and this is where we are as we are doing PortalCon. So uh, before PortalCon started, this is how the room uh, looked like. We are we have everything almost uh, prepared. This is uh, what we do, what you don't see. Uh, the uh, computer that Marag is streaming, uh, the lamps, of course, uh, and here we will be sitting on the couches and here we'll be going to play things. So this is uh, our uh, center for streaming. We do for Polish market uh, I think four videos a week. So we do a ton of video content for our fans here in Poland. For you, for English speaking fans, we do at least one video a week as well. So we are pretty busy recording, recording, recording different stories about board games. And here, number 18, top secret. So I will just uh, let you peek a little bit here, but this is the room that has a uh, lot of uh, games. Do you see anything? Something. Something, but it is it is top secret. And so this is uh, so this is floor number one. Uh, sales, accounting, customer service, and some fun. And now let me invite you to the floor number two. And we are back here uh, Sunday afternoon in Poland, uh, Sunday morning uh, here in America and different worlds. I hear and I see that we have our friend, industry veteran, Steven Wanaker with us. So, Steven, we are very happy that you are that you are with us alive, so we don't need this poster of you. Uh, I hope you have an amazing, amazing Sunday uh, today. And uh, guys, that was our first floor. As I said in the video, cash, basically, accounting and sales and, and business. Mm, uh, the secret room is just a vault of cookies. Very special guest of honor. Once again, reminder, yesterday, Stephen was interviewed by Luke, so you can check it out on our YouTube channel. It's still there for you to watch. And basically, basically, we have to slowly wrap up this first event of today. 
because in 20 minutes we start the gameplay of Empires of the North, me versus Janka Gichanka, and then the next event, the next event, uh, and for the whole day till evening with the board game stand up at the very at the very end. I see a ton of fans on Twitch, I see a ton of fans on YouTube, so once again, how many likes we have? Uh, 62, but there's an idea, is this where we thumbs down when they put up this picture? Uh, give uh, I the, think they're give talking thumbs about... for Steven, give thumbs for special guest of honor, we need your thumbs up uh, on, this, on this YouTube channel. And remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, this is the moment for you to subscribe. I'm talking to you, Steven Bonacor, subscribe for me, and I'm talking to you, Paul Imkao, subscribe for me. Be my subscriber because I have amazing content upcoming and for join you to us. watch. I'm better than NBC, I'm better than Netflix, I'm better than Hulu. I'm Shut better. up! There's a lot of interesting content on this channel. And so join us, please, at Portal Games fans and vote who will win the game, Joanna or Ignacio, okay? Yeah. I will have something special for you. Guys, uh, I love you. Thank you for being with us. Uh, there is uh, 12 hours of content starting from, from now uh, for you to watch today. Portal Games Twitch channel, the team is here for you with many gameplays and interesting content. And I am on fire, so I will now oh, play I can see Empires it. of the North and then Noshima World. Janna will win, we will see. Still can't believe Bonacore is that old, Benjamin. <laughs> do not do it, <laughs> don't, don't do it, mm. please. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being with us. Subscribe to our Twitch channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are on Facebook, please share with your friends. Tell them that today, on Sunday, PortalCon Online, amazing, amazing weekend. And for now, we are closing this event. Uh, Marek will show you the last floor. Yes? Uh, Arctic, Arctic, almost. <laughs> I will now uh, shut up. Marek will say goodbye. Goodbye. Janna. Bye-bye. See you in a moment. Uh, and now... The last part of the tour, and then we play the game. And this is my floor, uh, my team, my people, creative team. So let's start with uh, let's start with that. Let's start with that. This is uh, this many, many times. in case of emergency, break the glass. This is headquarters room. This is Ignace's room. Uh, so this is where everything happens uh, for me. I guess, as with many, many offices, mess, items all around. What differs from most of the offices uh, for your offices, I guess nobody at your office has a picture of Steven Bonacore, but I do, uh, to make fun of him in different videos. Uh, this is a background for the video I recorded a couple of years ago, a couple of hours ago. And here the room that I call Attic, and this is a room with my treasures, so all the different things. Uh, some comic books that Mary told me to get rid of uh, from home because we had too many comic books at home. So my beloved Batmans and 14th. And here we have my Western comic books, Comanche, Blueberry, Bouncer. So probably all of you who know comics uh, understand these titles. Here we have, of course, Aliens. We have Fatal. We have a Lock and Key, the most amazing comic book ever. We have Black Set and many many other. On the other uh, shelves here we have the my gaming gaming collection so we have all the role-playing games I used to play when I had time and all the magazines about the games and some props like when I run when I run games I prepare different uh, props so players can find something in a very very uh, old book and it, pre it pretends like it's a Call of Tulu uh, thing. I have my old role-playing games in English from the times when I was playing and I was buying them and so you can see here some classic books like uh, Star Wars, uh, the, the, the old, the nice and old edition. We have, uh, I have a very old, uh, printed in a very small printer on uh, Orc Wars from John Wick. I guess there's many fans of uh, John Wick, but not many of them have this in a game in their collection. So fun fact, uh, here I have some old magazines or even old catalogs. This is a catalog games, quarterly catalog, summer 2001. So it has a 19 years uh, list of the products that were in distribution in that year. So lots of, as my wife says, crap. But for me, these are the most amazing treasures. The books I wrote, the role-playing games I wrote, the magazines I was publishing when I was younger and I was doing role-playing games, some gifts that I received over the years for Robinson Crusoe or cookies, uh, like that. So ton of fine stuff. Here I have my uh, treasure in my collection, uh, Pandemic Legacy from the very first printing, Essen, from Essen with the dedication from 
uh, mat uh, and drop the view so it's uh, in my treasure treasure room so this is my attic with all the different things here and the stranger things do we have it my beloved uh, tv show except season three let's go so here we have uh, and the team that prepares files for the manufacturers so if we have a game and we need to send it to print uh, this is two guys uh, rafael um, and me how they work here in this in this room of course as you can see they are not here because of home office because of the COVID situation most of my employees now works uh, in a home office uh, mode uh, as you can see their board of tasks very empty because of the, of course the COVID because of the home office they use now software uh, to have all these tasks uh, uh, done we have some proofs from the manufacturer we have uh, all that kind of jazz uh, very important room uh, files manufacturer very important this is our development room and here we had our developers working but of course because of the covid situation changed veronica who was uh, writing with me uh, detective uh, has moved to the different city and lives uh, now in a different city so she works in a, in a home office away and you don't want me to be behind the window okay i get it and here on the other time there's a Jan Nakijanka, our beloved developer, uh, has been working but she was tired and sad by sitting alone in the in the in the office, so she moved to the different room and uh, you will see in a moment. So this is our old developer room that at this point is empty. Cares you COVID. This is because of you. Here we have another mess, uh, and this is our kitchen. Uh, it definitely needs a renovation, it's in a plants, uh, but there's never, never enough time to do that. So this is the time when we uh, cook something for ourselves uh, for lunch break or for a breakfast or when we stay longer for the, some uh, dinner. Uh, yep, nothing to say, nothing to add, uh, regular stuff. Mm, uh, here we have a Portal Games USA. So at Portal Games USA there is uh, four employees at this very moment. We have two employees working from Poland and two employees working from in America, the employees from Poland, Greg and, uh, and Joanna, are working uh, in a customer service. They are working with the web store. They are working with the uh, shipping and uh, placement paths and all the things that you can do uh, online. While Luke and David, uh, working from America, they are doing all the sales. They are in contact with the retailer. They are in contact with distribution. They are, of course, uh, uh, showing at the conventions for us. So they are doing this. Uh, super important tasks why our portal against USA does the, all the I would say administration uh, stuff like emails and, and documents etc etc uh, of course because uh, COVID situation they are working from the home office so that's awesome that we have this empty room here portal games library so every employee from portal games of course has a additional budget to spend on board games that we we support them Every employee of Portal Games has access to every single game that we release and they can, you know, they can borrow this game to play with their friends. But we also have a library of books, science fiction books and comic books. Every employee of, of Portal Games can just take this, uh, read, have fun, enjoy it and bring it back for other, other things, for other, for other employees. And then once a while we clean this, we clean this uh, shelf and we sell these items on the charity auction because we do in Poland uh, very often charity auctions and our fans can bid, get these uh, comic books, get these books and support charity. So this is a library for Portal Games employees and then the, the thing to support charity. And here we are in the biggest room uh, here, our marketing department. Our marketing department, we have five people working in the, in the marketing department and uh, in this room we have uh, one, two, three, four desks only one person from marketing department works here in the office because of the COVID, because of the home office situation. Only Marek works working there, head of the marketing for Portal Games, while all his uh, team members are working from home and are just appearing in the, in the company uh, every other week just for a while to discuss uh, new plans uh, for that. So Marek was very um, alone and lonely. So John came and now they are sitting here together. John, our developer, 
you know her very well and now she has a desk and she is pretending to be working in the marketing department so Marek and Joanna here in this room that was at the very beginning and before COVID we had five people working here in this in this room and now uh, only two and the final room the final room the final room of the of the offices uh, our conference room this is the place where we used to have amazing amazing meetings with all the team members 20 people around the table and discussing the plans and now of course the meetings are on a zoom uh, platform because most of the people are staying at home so this is like a another sad room that misses people that misses interaction that misses a laugh uh, and smiles uh, and yes we use it of course uh, now for the lunch breaks uh, sometimes sometimes for playing games sometimes to testing prototypes but basically another another space that is now like not used as it used to be uh, used uh, we can we can show our fans uh, our shelf of games these are the games that we were playing uh, during the lunch breaks especially when we had more people working from the office so we had some dexterity games like bandu crazy tower uh, tumbling dice we have some um, abstract games like eclipse sar pillows quarto abalon so two player abstract games and of course a ton of very fast quick uh, card games we have here saboteur we have here sushi go we have here dead drop hanabi pocket madness and many many other and of course all and uh, we can also see cookies 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 because we are at portal games uh, offices so this is so this is this is the tour around the second floor and of course this is my 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 floor this is the my people working here that is a marketing department and this is a development department uh, so the most creative uh, people in the company uh, that was a tour around portal games offices and now we are at portalcon live we are live with you so give us your questions on chat and we talk and we discuss and we have fun And this is it for uh, for uh, are we live? Yeah. And this is it for uh, this part of the event. And now we say goodbye, and we see you in ten minutes. Uh, you take a break, and see you in ten minutes. Thank you.